Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we went to the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy, and it has the greatest music in the entire game. I freaking love the music for this galaxy. Oh my goodness gracious! In this episode, we're going to be going to the last galaxy of World One. Uh, well, I guess we'll see what it is right now. Bowser Jr.'s fiery, fi uh, fiery flotilla. Flotilla, flotilla. Sounds like tortilla to me. I don't even freaking know, man. All right. Gumball Guts' is aching belly. Let's do it. This is the first time we get to see Bowser Jr. in this game, so it should be a very memorable one. You can see the common mill right off in the distance right there, too, so we know exactly where it is. We don't have to waste any time looking for it. Then again, I don't think the common mill is the common mills are really that hard to find anyway. Uh... They're, they're pretty much on the way anyway. Alright, so to kill these guys, uh, I think if you spin, you, you can flip them upside down, step on them, and then they'll give you a coin. Uh, I'm not sure if those guys can actually give you star bits. I'll have to test that out right now, since we have another one over here. Let's spin him while well, he's just gonna fall right off, so I guess I won't really know, will I? Alright, this guy I think has the common metal on top of him, so let's just do that. And there we go. Nice long jump. And let's see, we could have killed his Magic Koopa, and then I'm going to hit this. And that'll open that nice door over for there, uh, over there for us. I again need to learn how to speak. I don't even know. And we have Dry Bones, MTM's 558's favorite character. Oh boy. Nice checkpoint. Man, we're just gonna breeze right through this place. No problem. Like, look at the. Oh wow. You know that jump or that uh, extra height from uh, getting burned there might have actually helped after all. And uh, I wanted to make sure I don't get burned again because that'd be really bad. And let's take this launch star. And I believe we're at the boss already. Hello there, Bowser Jr. Wahaha, made it this far, huh? I won't need my dad's help to finish you off. I got a big surprise for you. Oh, gobble gut, dinner's on. Don't forget to protect your bellyache bulges. A what? A bellyache? What? I don't even know what the heck he's talking about, but... Time to meet all oh, good old Gobble Guts. This boss is something else, let me tell you right now. Uh, this boss could give me some trouble. It might give me trouble, I'll be sure. Why am I hoping for that? Maybe you guys are hoping for that so I fail in this game, but... This boss... Uh, what we have to do is he's just going to scour us, and then eventually he's going to start digging like he is right now. Or, not right now, he's just eating a part of the ground. And now he's gonna start digging. What you're gonna wanna do is, uh, spin against those, uh, things that he comes out. Or the, the red things. The bumps, I guess. Must be a pain. Must hurt really bad. And he's so mad. He's so mad. Look at all the star bits that he's got for us. This is gonna be a harder phase, because since the, uh, the bumps are at the very end, um, he's going to try to attack us while we're trying to spin attack on those things, so just be careful. Uh, I'm going to get me to get the one there. I'm probably going to miss the, uh, the, oh no! Oh, I missed the freaking two of them. Dang. Yeah, this thing can be a pain, so hopefully he's not a pain. Um, if you really wanted to, you can press the B button and shoot some star bits at the ground where those uh, coin indents are, and they will give you points. It's very nice. There we go, I got one. So now we just have to hit one more. Uh, let's see if I can do that and not fail. And... There it is! Alright, that went pretty smooth. Uh, usually that goes really bad for me, so I'm glad it didn't. And he is going to... Explode. That... That derpy face at the very end, though. It's fantastic. And ooh. Look at this, you guys. It's a giant star. Let's collect it! You got a Grand Star! Yeah! We get one of these after we defeat a boss in the world! Which is awesome! Uh, in the first game, Grand Stars were used to power up the Observatory. So, what are they useful for in this game? Well, let's just take a quick look and find out, shall we? The portal to the next world opened up, yes! They opened up dimensions! Alright, we got a new star! Got some comet medals going on. Well, a comet medal. 
And we've got all the cool coins and all that stuff. We've seen all that before. Wow, look at that. You did it. You brought back a Grand Star. That's great. Now we can use the power of that Grand Star to travel to another world. We come one step closer to retrieving your special one, buddy. Through space and time to an unknown world we go. I'm jiggling just about thinking about it, Captain. Right, Captain. I, I, he said I would. Anyways, let's take our starship and head over to the next world. Full speed ahead. Ooh, look at all this crazy stuff going on in this world. Whoa, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. Looks like there should be plenty of power stars here. Go ahead, we're all counting on you, Captain. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, time to head over to the first level of the first galaxy of World 2, the Puzzle Plank Galaxy. This one is really cool, too. I do enjoy this one quite a bit. What's our first mission? The Puzzling Picture Block. All right, this one should be too bad. Look at all that cool stuff going on over there. And that is our destination to that puzzle. It's very puzzling, isn't it? Ho ho ho! I made a funny pun! Oh, I'm so funny now. Yes. <laughs> Not really, but... Alright, let's go ahead and ground pound this, which will give us some star bits. Again, we need those. Uh, we could ground pound that, but I think there's something else on the other side, maybe, that we can ground pound? Uh, let's see here. More star bits. And now let's ground pound the middle, because why the heck not? Uh, wait, what's over here? If I ground pound this, and we go here... Oh, we got some star bits. They're always nice. Let's ground pound this, and bring that down. And I believe it's the bottom right-hand one that... Yeah, it is, sure enough. But, I don't really care about that at the moment. I want to get some star bits. If we ground pound the ground, these wigglers will flip over, and we can kill them and get some star bits. Uh, do these ones give us star bits? No, these ones give us coins. I think this one gives us star bits. Or, I guess it's this. Why the heck would I just go and breeze through everything? That's not fun. Might as well just do some exploring while we're here. This might give us a one-up, actually. But we'll see. Oh, I grabbed one out of order. Dang. I wanted to get them all in order. That would be pretty cool. See, now that pause is just awkward. Whoa, we get a three-up for that. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I didn't us in that last one. It's probably star bits, but... Don't really care about that one. I do believe in this one, there's a secret among us. Uh, with coins away. But yeah, I think there's a, uh, a hungry Luma floating around. But I think we could actually do a triple jump in here. To get up there really quickly without even doing anything. <laughs> yeah, see? All those crazy tricks. It's so fun. No! No, come on! Oh, I wanted to go through this nicely and quick. And then that happens. Oh, this is right over here, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, let's just go over here and get this Comet Metal. And then we can wait for that to go down. And then we can go over here, and it's all nice. Uh, we just have to do some waiting so we can actually progress on through. And that's what's fun. Do a nice, good wall jump. And now we can breeze through everything again, just like before. Because that's always fun. At least to me, anyway. I think the reason for everything is quite fun in platformers like this, because, I don't know, it just shows you, like, what kind of cool stuff you can do with the powers and everything handed to you. It's fun. And, oh, come on, don't you fall. I almost died there. That would have been a horrible thing. So, I'm glad I didn't die. Let's grab from this and make a sling star appear. And we have a checkpoint. I'm not going to use this. This is a Luma you can pay star bits to get either a, uh, a health extension or a one-up. I really don't care for that too much, so I'm not going to go for it. Now let's get these star bits. And then what you're going to want to do here is ground pound the pieces of the puzzle to put them together. There's one done. Let's go over to this side and ground pound this side. That little uh, symbol basically tells you, oh, you need to ground pound in this spot to make things happen because that's always cool. There's some star bits on the side. I didn't even notice that. All right, just ground pound this one. Oh, there's more star bits, man. Let's get them all. And ground pound this, and we should be good. And look at that. We have a boss. Oh, I guess it's like a mini boss. This thing's not even that bad. That's a cool little uh, uh, ground pound. It allows you to home in on your enemies. And there we go. We killed the baby one, which is going to make the adult one really mad. But just ground pound it, and it goes down. 
pretty easy if you ask me. That was not that difficult. But let's go and get our star and be done. Except not really, because I do believe there's a secret mission in this galaxy as well. We'll definitely have to go after that at some point. I think there's also a second mission in this galaxy, not including the secret one as well. So we'll be sure to do that too. There we go. We got the star for the puzzling picture block. Got another comet medal. We got, we got eight already. We're doing really good. And we're already able to move on. Uh, not going to be doing that quite yet, because we still got more stuff to do. Hey, looks like there's a few changes to the world map. Let's check it out. That toad came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. Go ahead and humor him. Maybe he's got something for you. Alright, why not? Let's talk to the toad and see if he's got any good mail for us. Hey Mario, I decided to start delivering mail, and my first letter is for you. I am very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you will come save me. P.S. I attached something to this letter. I hope you will f I hope it will be useful. Peach. Alright, what did she give us? Prince including a what up mushroom in her letter. Oh, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is always is so thoughtful. Well, come see me next time there's a mail delivery. You're gonna wanna keep this guy in mind. There's some stars that can only be activated uh, when you talk to that toad when he gives you mail. And what the heck? This is the Grand World map. With the power of the Grand Star, we can travel great distances across space and time. Now we can travel to another world whenever you're ready, Captain. Yes, this will give us access to World 1 and World 2, so... Just a fairly quick uh, quick travel to do. But we're going back into Puzzle Plank because, as you can see, there is a secret mission for us to do here. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. Going back into the Puzzling Picture Block. And I don't think I've shown off where the secret is. I'll be sure to do that right now. Uh, I think for this mission, we're going to want to collect some coins. So, I'm going to want to make sure I do that. I believe this gives us star bits. Yeah, it does. But of course, star bits always helps as well. They're very important. Uh, so this one I believe gives us star bits. Yeah, sure enough, I was right about that one. I guess I'll kill the others too, because star bits. I uh, wanna go on a... Oh, wait, this, oh, this gives us a one-up. I really don't care about the one-up. I do want the coins, though. That's gonna be important. Uh, let's ground pound this one. And make the grand star appear before. I could have just cut away to where the secret is. But really, that's not fun at all. I really don't care about the one-ups in this area, so I'm not even about going for it. Alright, so where we're gonna wanna go is here. I believe this is where the secret lies. Uh, we're gonna wanna we're gonna want the coins because the coins are very important, as I stated already. Star bits are important too, but coins are more yeah, see here's this hungry Luma over here. Um, I'm going to want to jump in this pipe because I believe there are coins to be found in the pipe. If we collect this giant coin, we should be able to collect some coins! Let's do it. Alright, I'm going to go around this way. Alright. Uh, we should have enough time to get all these coins too, so I'm not in any rush at all. I want to make sure I get every last coin because I don't know how many coins that Luma takes, so I will be very careful. And we get a 1-up for that. Nice, we have 62 coins. I think we need 70. Um, if memory serves. It might just be 60. I'll talk to him and find out right now. Hello, Luma. 70, I was right. Uh, hopefully we have enough on this area to find some coins. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, there's some enemies I guess we can kill. Oh, there's something up here. Is there some coins? Is there coins? No, I don't care about you, you stupid enemy. I don't want to ground pound you. Oh, I guess definitely. Yeah, there's some coins. Oh, we have two more coins to find. Does this give us coins? No, that gives us star bits. Oh, uh, there are some coins hit. Oh, yes, here we go. There are some coins hidden inside the grass. That is convenient. Because now we have exactly enough coins. Or more than enough. We're meant with one coin above, which is more than enough. So we'll just give him the coins, and then we'll be taken away to a brand new area. So let's do that. Let's see what this is all about. Oh. I remember this. I remember this very distinctly. And I'm not looking forward to it. Alright, let's get the Cloud Mario and do some crazy jumping shenanigans because Cloud Mario is so broken as I keep stating. And get over here. And here we go. Meet the big bugaboom. This guy is crazy. And I don't like this boss because he's so fast. Uh, I'm just gonna. You're gonna wanna ground pound him three times to kill him, because we all know, ooh, we all know in Mario games, or in any Nintendo game really, that three is their magic number. 
Uh, now he's gonna start flying. I'm gonna wait and just make a cloud right here. And then I'm going to ground pound. Now this is the cycle or the part of the boss that's pretty annoying. This guy is going to start flipping everywhere all over the world. And it's really bad because, well, it's hard to hit him. And he's got bombs. I don't like bombs. Bombs are bad. Nobody likes bombs. All right, let me see if I can do this quickly. Uh, nice! Oh, that was so beautiful. That never ends up that well. Sweet! Cool. All right, I am very proud of that, actually. That was really good. Let's get our star and get out of here. Normally, that boss takes me a while, so I'm glad I, glad I did it pretty quick. I've been saying that a lot. Oh, this boss was pretty smooth. Oh, this boss didn't go as well as I did last time I played this game. I gotta stop doing that. I just like I just like talking about my old playthroughs because those are the ones that are memorable. Bugaboom's back, yeah, I figured. Alright, so I think we're set for the puzzle plank. I think we'll have enough time for one more galaxy before we are done here. And I think this one is the perfect galaxy to end things off on. So let's go ahead and do it. This one is super fun and super cool. High stepping dash pepper in the High Tail Falls galaxy. Like I said, this one is super fun. Uh, you'll definitely see what's up with this one in just a moment. It's going to evolve a very nice dinosaur, that's for sure. Okay, I got any star bits? Doesn't look like I can because they're so far away. Oh, there's some star bits. And the music, though, is from Super Mario World. Now, that's a, that's a nice throwback for sure. I wish I was playing this on Thursday. I'd be like, oh, oh throwback Thursday, ha <laughs> No, not really. Alright, let's go up here and eat the pepper, and we go super fast! Oh, this is like the coolest, because going fast is so much fun. Alright, let's go ahead and take this. And this is pretty much the gimmick of this galaxy. Eating the dash peppers and getting super speed, because super speed is fun. Uh, this coin gives us some coins, and uh, the coins are going to be important for a secret mission in this galaxy. We're going to need some coins for a hungry Luma. Uh, we're not going to be doing that in this episode. I'll wait until next time for that. But right now, I just want to get the star in this galaxy, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, make sure those things don't fall. I'm actually going to go up really quick and eat it from behind, or from the front, so I get a little bit more uh, upper edge, I guess. I don't know what that's called, but uh, let's just go through here. And I believe over here is a bonus area game, if I'm not mistaken. It is, but I'm not going to go for it. Uh, I'll put, I don't even know why. I just... The bonus games are cool, and it gives us star bits and all that cool stuff, but I just really don't care for it. Now, this is the coolest part of the level right here. This. Just be careful you don't fall and die or whatever. That, that bonk. Bonking is fun. Yeah, there's the Hungry Luma that we'll be dealing with for the secret mission. We're also looking for the Comet Medal in this mission, too. I forgot to mention that. So hopefully we get it. There it is. We got it. We're good. We're so good. The, wait, did I get the Comet Medal for the last galaxy we did? Yeah, actually, I did. What am I talking about? Okay, I forgot to do the hovering shenanigans. And there we go. Alright, wait. Eat the thing. Thank you. Alright, so now it's time to get the star. So, let's see if I can do this. This could be a little tricksy! Nice! Wait, did I even grab it? That did not look like I grabbed it at all. But if the game wants to think that I got it, then why would I say anything otherwise to the game? Alright. Nice, we did a lot in this episode. We got a couple stars, we did so good, everything is fantastic. Very nice. Got some coins, we did all the cool stuff. And we opened even more galaxies. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Mario, I have a letter for you. Hey, remember me? I got a new game over in the Fluffy Bluff Galaxy. Come on by and we'll do the whole introduction thing. I want to see what kind of game skills you got from the chimp. Oh, God. Come see me next... Okay, so we got a lot of stuff to do next time. The chimp wants a challenge, and so there are some new galaxies we get to explore. But next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to be doing all that. Uh, especially if the chimp, because we get to go back to Fluffy Bluff, and I just want an excuse to go back there, because it's freaking awesome. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Super Mario Galaxy 2.